Hello everyone, this is a video about this Walkman, uh, Toshiba Walkman and the model number, it must be somewhere around here, okay, so this is the Walkman with the radio, radio Walkman and it has a three graph equalizer that they are very um, effective and it's very loud if you are using a good headphone with this one I must warn you this is very loud so I this is one of my uh, least favorite but is rugged Walkman and the size is is not bad uh, and it has a uh, you know belt clip at the back and you can put a strap on this via these two and the way to take it off is just to pull this up and then push it back and it comes off and the reason that I'm taking it off is because uh, the model number is behind that and the model number is KT-4568 and it works with two AA batteries so it's very versatile and it has a FM and AM radio the frequency is 87.5 up to 180 megahertz and the uh, AM is 531 up to 1602 kilohertz so not bad and these are the dimensions and made in Japan which is very good and that is the Toshiba and that's how it looks like so we have uh, five and uh, the memory I think it goes up to let me just see 10 a station preset digital tuner so we have two of these fives if we click this one and then this is FM AM and oh I'm sorry this is the plus five uh, and this is how to set the memory if you want to set a memory there and this is the tuning and this one is alarm stop and stop and the mode and alarm so this one has a clock and alarm as well let me just show you how to install the battery okay this is my first rant that starts with this what is not so good about this is how to install the battery and the battery is installed in like that and then I show you some uh, pictures of inside of this and the way that the positive is going to connect with inside of this unit is this latch here and if you look at look in there there is a metal bit there and this metal bit is going on top of that metal bit and is going to click in place and when it clicks in place sometimes you know it pushes this too far and then the contact is a little bit getting loose but not always always this is happening so let's install the battery in correct ways so it goes like so and like so and as you see you have to press this inside and then push this back in now the battery is installed so it shows the clock at the beginning and the radio if you choose to have the radio is just by pressing the FM or AM radio to select which one but here we have dedicated switch if I'm going out of uh, focus here is because this is black on black 
and it's getting a little bit you know so this is radio and the light is coming on and if it's on a stereo and you have two lights here for forward and reverse position of the direction of the tape and this is the model number and then here we have FM mono stereo and uh, Dolby off and on is this switch and then here we have normal at uh, the tape selector normal and metal and chrome and here is the volume and at the bottom we have nothing and on this side we have the wall adapter jack for three volts and this three volt is uh, center negative so be careful with that center negative and then at the top we have the direction uh, switch reverse and mode and direction to change the direction and then play rewind forward and stop and then here nothing but here we have a small latch if you see this this one it goes in so don't force this open from here it has a small latch here that you have to press this and then open it so the opening is not very large it's just minimal and that's it and this is the tape and that is the head and the pinch roller there and this is the stop button and then this is rewind and this is forward and I have to tell you the belt for this is very hard to find so I have found it and it's very expensive is up to 14 pounds because it's six pounds something and uh, shipping is uh, the same so is um, uh, something like 14 pounds uh, including shipping and nothing else here and that's it i just uh, put a tape in there I'm pressing this and then opening it and put a tape in there the normal tape that we are listening to it all the time but I add new music on this tape every time if I uh, if you get bored of these music uh, sections of my videos anyhow I'm ranting a little bit and this is really rugged but is all plastic nothing is uh, you know metal in here but the thing that you see in mechanism inside let me just show you in there and then uh, as i mentioned i have some videos uh, some uh, images from inside and the way to open it uh, in order to change the belt is these two and these two nothing here nothing here and this is for the door is nothing to do with the back and then we have two screws here as well so when you uh, unscrew all of these this back is coming off is more uh, I mean user friendly that some of the Sony's uh, plastic uh, Walkmans because those are they don't have any screws and they have latches inside that you have to unlatch them from here and then unlatch them from all around in order to get the back off anyway this is uh, 
I think is really presentable and it has an aperture to show you the tape here. That is another Sony rant that I have all the time uh, because you know I don't know why they are restrict this aperture so uh, insisting on that to have a small aperture in there to see the tape turning anyway so that the thing that remains is just playing some uh, tapes and then showing you some uh, images of inside of this so let's see uh, what we have the volume i don't want to uh, you know wake anybody up let me just go down i have to tell you this has a very loud preamplifier and very effective three ways of uh, graphic equalizer and one of them is triple and the other one is mid-range and the other one is bass so it's very effective and uh, it has Dolby as well and it's auto reverse so let's play some songs Head. never used <laughs> And if you see, we are at the stage four, so it's gonna be very loud if we go. And the bass is really good. So, and these are the graphic equalizer. This is the trip, this is the mid range, and this is the bass. So, let's go first for the triple as you see it's very effective okay and then we have mid-range and then we have the bass This is relatively in good condition with minor scratches for the age. Let me just bring down the volume. For the age of this, which is more than 25 years of age, is very well presented. And as you see, there are scratches but this clip belt clip is really good the way to put it back on is just put it there and just push it up and it, it is locked in place and you have a strap here as well to put it on over your neck or your shoulder so let me just bring the volume down and find some images of inside of this and so this is how it looks from inside i have to tell you the way to change the belt drive belt is very difficult because you have this ribbon that it has multiple of uh, connections that you have to desolder them that is very difficult so I skipped that part and then you have another one up here ribbon here and that's it so I cheated this and just uh, you know on a screw it has one screw here so on a screw that one and then I lifted it up let me just see show you the other picture uh, this is the other picture if you want to look let me just maximize it to show you how complex this one is
is very well made, but the way to change the belt is very difficult. Uh, that's I think you see I cheated this I opened it and then from here I just routed the belt over and under this other capstan this is the motor and then up to the other side and this is the other side so it was really difficult but I've done it and it works and these are all the screws and that's really it anyway the price of this it goes from uh, 40 pounds up to 69 pounds on eBay uh, in not working condition uh, in 49 pounds 45 pounds and if it's in working condition it uh, starts from uh, I, I think it's 65 up to you know 75 pounds because it's not very popular but by all means if you uh, are capable of changing the drive belt and finding the uh, drive belt by all means I recommend this because the volume is too loud it has graphic equalizer it has two bands of radio and you know is rugged and if it comes with the belt that is a bonus you can carry it with you but in size is big is not as small as you wish it to be and is thick as well but is very rugged and it works for instance the this uh, display it just doesn't show you the play rewind uh, reverse and forward playing or whatever it doesn't show you any of that but it's very rugged that is a little bit uh, you know uh, not very good that it doesn't show what you are doing up here uh, fast forward rewind and play and auto reverse so i think this video is getting too long because i rant a lot but by all means if you can get over the battery connector because uh, something that i wanted to mention uh, that, that i just remembered when I was about to ch uh, check the speed of this it was very difficult with this system of battery compartment to turn the unit on and then with a screwdriver change the speed for you know uh, just adjusting the speed anyhow man that's that was a little bit of harder for me that i overcame but in general this is a very good uh, and very very loud uh, walkman that i fully recommend to everyone who is a collector of walkmans anyhow I hope you enjoy this video or let me just demonstrate a little bit without the sound okay the radio okay so let's go to radio when you turn the radio on it goes to AM and then you choose the FM and that is very good it has some uh, five uh, 
uh, there five preset and then uh, you have go, you, you can go to preset to nine now this one is five and then you go to six and up to ten anyway I because of the copyright reasons I cannot play the radio so I hope you enjoyed this video and until my next video please uh, take care of yourself and each other and as always have a great time